We were motivated. Uh, we think of ourselves as pioneers in space. Yeah. But that's not really how it went down. Okay, Russia launched the first satellite named Sputnik. Russia launched the first mammal in space. Russia launched the first human in space. Russia launched the first woman. Russia launched the first black person. Uh, Russia invented the rocket equation more than 100 years ago. Russia did all of this and we said, how can we do something to show? So we said, let's go to the moon. And so we went to the moon before them and we said, we win. But you have to consider that we were reactive, not proactive. And then we got to the moon and we learned Russia no longer has the moon on its sights. And so we stopped going to the moon. Apollo 17 went to the moon in 1972. Russia, we look over the fence, Russia's not going to the moon, we're done. We had Apollo 18 ready to fly. It's now for, for museum parts on display. And so decades go by. Is anyone else going to the moon? Is there a geopolitical threat? No. There were geopolitical forces far greater than any urge to explore that got us there. You could look at the predictions people were making and laugh at them. We're on the moon in 1969. Everybody was saying, um, at this rate, we'll be on Mars with colonies by 1985. So why are we going back to the moon? Oh, it feels like it's the right time. Sure, why not 50 years? Park the curtains. China says they're going back to the moon. And when China says they're going to do something in space, they do it.